Welcome back to the Frankie DeBusk Show. Once again, the voice of the pioneers, Brian Staten. Tushkillum takes a two-touchdown lead into the second quarter. We take a look at your second quarter highlights, brought to you by Applebee's. This first clip here, I think, is of our punter, Andy Rossetti. He's another freshman uh, from down in the Florida area who's just had a great four or five game stretch here. Hits it exceptionally well, puts it up in the air, makes it hard on that young man to catch. And fortunately, Brian, this one hits the ground <laughs> where we can get on it by rule. And uh, great job here. Cameron Myers is down there. I think he's the one that actually gets on the fumble. And uh, I know big uh, Skylar West there from Oneida gets a big block to keep the guy off of, off of uh, Cam, and we get the football here inside the 15, 20-yard line. We don't execute as well as we'd like to, and have to go for it there on fourth and short, but Bo does a good job. Kids up front, uh, Lee Kaiser's another true freshman that played center for us and has done a great job here. Bo's buying time, and I thought this was going to be a touchdown. Just throws it a little bit out of Deontay's reach, but we end up executing on this drive, if I remember correctly. Bo was, uh, well, she's got to be exhausted. He just ran 60 yards right there. Calvin Britt in the corner of the end zone, more upset with himself, I think, because a good throw by Bo. He just tripped and fell. And then this play takes forever to develop, but a great throw and maybe even a better catch. Much better catch. I'm really, Michael Rodriguez is just catching the football so well. Ball's up in the end there. Bo does a great job hanging on to it. He's really good at that, taking that blow and puts it where it needs to be. And Michael Rodriguez just makes a phenomenal catch to get the ball in the end zone. And a really good executed play there. And, and Michael ends up making it look easy, but that was very challenging. Nine catches, 82 yards, two touchdowns with in this game for Michael Rodriguez, which ties him for the school single season record held by Nate Binder and Ryan Talent just two years ago in 2008. Seven plays, 22 yards, minute 30 off the clock. The Pioneers, Neville Bryce, hit by Fatua Mua and Dustin Lane, another one of these very young players for this uh, Pioneer football team, getting some time out there. Force yet another punt, so the Pioneers make short order. A three-yard rush by Brian Marshall, and then Cordell finding Deontay Gist, his favorite target on the day. Great ball here, great job, great protection. Uh, Mark Kolb was yelling, get a block, get a block, and I'm yelling, uh, he's no need a block. He's going to outrun them all, and uh, uh, big play. Our kids up front again. Uh, Hannibal Ruiz played one of his better games at the offensive line position. Pat Aiken uh, did a great job executing for us at guard at there, and Casey Seibert got some quality reps, and we're missing Josh Stone and Brandon per Priest right now as they're both injured, but uh, really did a good job. Israel Pickens came in and gave Dustin a blow when we needed to, but those kids up front are really executing, and here's Deontay getting a little too excited after the, the score, and uh, we had to settle that one on the practice field after it was over, but uh, excited about the, the way we got the ball in the end zone there when we needed a big play. Two, two plays, just covered 60 yards, 35 14 after the point for the Pioneers. Defensively, you take the field. Uh, Jeter run out of bounds by John Perry, another young one. Crumb maker uh, just for a yard, and right there waiting for him is David Little playing with an injured hand. Uh, David Little had surgery on uh, Tuesday, I guess it was, or Wednesday, and uh, on his hand. And our athletic training staff, Chris Linker, and the doctors from Watauga Orthopedic did a great job of not only getting him fixed, but getting him prepared where he could play and getting all bandaged up. And, David's a tough kid and went in there and did a, a good job for us on, on Saturday. Defensively, uh, the Pioneers get a stop, a hold right here at the end of the half. You did get the football back, but um, a holding penalty kind of negated any type of momentum that you would have had right there at the end. You were going to get the ball in the second half, so I think a smart idea just go ahead and take a knee right there. Well, we decided to, to see what we could do the first two or three snaps, and we didn't have a lot of, a lot of success and had a few penalties, and we decided to, we were going to get the ball in the first uh, part of the second half. So. Take our lead into, into the half, talk a little bit about it, and see if we can't come out and perform even better. Pioneers go into the break, leading the football game 35-14 to 14 on the year. Statistically, you're unbeatable when they take a lead into the locker room. When we come back, we'll take a look at your third quarter. That's when the Frankie DeBus Show continues right after this. Whenever there's a project to make our community a better place to live, you'll always find our local merchants right there doing all they can to help. From sponsoring the kids' ball teams to serving barbecue at a community picnic, they're always there. Be community-minded. Shop and invest locally. Greenville Federal Bank, member FDIC. Banking made easy. Community-minded, just like you. The best deal in the neighborhood just got better with more to love on the 2 for 20 meal only at Applebee's. Applebee's is a proud sponsor of the Frankie DeBus TV show and side of the Frankie DeBus radio show. 
Applebee's on the bypass in Greenville. There's no place like the neighborhood. Sodexo, a world leader in food and facilities management services. Sodexo proudly serves Tusculum College and supports Pioneer football. Sodexo, making every day a better day. Coach, what makes a winning team? A winning team is individuals that are working toward one common goal. Coach, for over 30 years, Andrew Johnson Bank has been a winning team here in Greene County. It has always been our goal to provide superior service to our customers. Andrew Johnson Bank will never quit providing extra effort to make loyal customers in the community. Thank you, Coach DeBass. Thank you, Monica. Andrew Johnson Bank scores points with friendly customer service, top-notch bank products, and convenient locations. Tusculum College and Andrew Johnson Bank are a winning team. Welcome back to the Frankie DeBusk Show. Once again, the voice of the Pioneers, Brian Staten. Coming out of the locker room, the Tusculum Pioneers lead at 35 to 14. Let's take a look at your third quarter highlights brought to you by your Greenville Light and Power System. It did feel good actually to get the ball in the opening kickoff of the second half. We haven't done that and we didn't, we didn't perform very well in our kickoff return unit. We get, get the ball backed up. We got to do a little better job there. Uh, we take the field offensively and put together a great drive. Uh, we're moving the chains here and Bo's being very, very smart and cautious. It's a great run by Brian Marshall. Brian's a sophomore from down in Chattanooga area and breaks three big tackles and gets the ball close to midfield just based solely on his, his effort alone. This is a stiff arm. I know that Coach Caleb Slover, our running back coach, uh, reps this drill all the time and it's good to see it coming into play here. The Pioneers backed up again at the two yard line where this drive began but did face a third down and six just before the Brian Marshall run. Tusculum 8 of 14 on the day, converting on third downs. Again, last year that was a point of emphasis, just converting on third down. That is why the Pioneers weren't as successful a season ago. This year, however, converting 45% of the time. So Marshall runs for 33 on, the, on that run. And then first and 10, Marshall for seven. I'm sure he's looking at you going, Coach, can't believe you called my number right again. So he comes out. Third down in a yard, Cordell finds Deontay Giss for nine yards. And here you pace third down and ten. Uh, actually, I uh, get a little bit lucky right here as Michael Giss sure drops did. an interception. It was the only bad decision Bo made all day, and I think he'll tell you that. He really played a great football game. like to have that one back, but I uh, got a little excited there, and here he does a great job. What he's really good at, too, is buying time, buying time finding somebody to be open and makes a throw, and we send our uh, all-American kicker on the field, Gareth Rollins, and Gareth will be the first to tell you he didn't kick the ball as well on Saturdays as he would like, but here's when he does not hit very good and still makes it from 42 yards. Uh, oh, he's going to be one we're really, really going to miss next year when, he's, uh, when he does graduate and moves on with his life. 11 plays, 73 yards, 301. You see it made it by just a yard, but when things aren't going well for you right there, uh, obviously and you've had a great year, things go well for you in the end. Third down and two, Kelvin Jeter, an outstanding freshman running back for Brevard, but uh, put this one on the ground. Tusculum. Last two games hasn't been able to force a turnover, and for some reason when the ball's on the ground, Jason Muling is going to find it, it. You know, and you always know when Jason comes with, away with the fumble because he's the first one off the field to the sidelines getting excited, celebrating with his teammates. And I'm not real sure why Terrence Smith didn't get on the ball. I thought he was the one that was going to get the fumble, and uh, then I look up and here comes Muling off the field with it. But great execution, good job getting a – when the ball's on the ground, we actually got the fumble, which is uh, something we haven't been able to do here lately. And, Go on the field, and here we flip a little screen out to uh, Rashad. And there's big Dustin Moorhead again downfield making blocks for us, and uh, we're trying to, to find, scrap it and claw and get us a score. So Chad Blakely takes this carry for seven yards. That was on third down and a yard. First and goal, Bo Cordell is looking, uh, just buying some time, and across the middle finds Rashad Carter. A little unlucky here as you get flagged for an illegal block in the back, and, and I'm sure Calvin Bridge probably sitting there going, what do you mean it couldn't have been on me? Yeah, it's just uh, unfortunate, you know, our, our Calvin's just giving great effort and you know, I don't know if that's truly a, a penalty. He landed uh, on his face there, but I guess when looking at it from the referee's angle, might have decided to call it. But uh, good job uh, us not getting excited. We go back out on the field and take the field like we're supposed to and we know we're not going to play air-free football and bad things are going to happen to us and great teams respond when bad things happen. And here's Bo being very, very smart in the red zone. Great block there by Calvin Britt. Uh, to free him up and get a few more yards. Calvin Britt uh, excited after that because I'm sure he had to vent some frustration after he felt he delivered the block that got Carter into the end zone, which didn't happen, and then looked for Calvin Britt in the corner of the end zone, tried to reward him. That one just a little bit incomplete, but Michael Rodriguez, uh, where would you be without him right now in the year? A great throw here by Bo. Actually, probably a better call by Mark Kolb than 
than the throw, but uh, good job by the kids up front, good fake there by Bo, and Michael again makes that look very, very easy and gets one foot down in the back of the end zone for another touchdown on the day. Again, that's his ninth touchdown on the year, which ties the school single season record uh, that was held by Nate Binder and, and along with Ryan Talent. Of course, there's still two games to go. Luke Harris, so another one of these very young players, a sophomore, seeing a lot of time on the field. That is the Brevard leading rusher. Kelvin Jeter is just a freshman, and Harrison run support is very good. Seven tackles on the day. When we're running, we're playing well. Here's Brian Alexander running over there and causing a fumble, and then running and getting on the football. Uh, again, you know, Luke's a sophomore. Brian's a sophomore. Uh, we're playing so many young players. Hopefully, uh, that that will pay off for us in the future, and I feel like it will. But our, our kids are really playing hard over there and trying to take coaching and do what we ask them to do. And we're getting better and better each and every week, and I feel like right now we have to be one of the most feared uh, five and four teams in the nation. It is a – didn't see the end of the third quarter right here. It was one of those situations. You get that football, some penalties happen, you're forced to punt, and then Brevard, one big play, a 45-yard pass, maybe just a busted coverage right there, but they do go on and score a touchdown right there at the end of the third quarter. Well, it's – they're making it hard on us. Uh, we've still got a nice lead and feel good about it, but – we got to find a way to, to finish games and execute better. When you're playing young players, it's kind of hard for them to understand that. But uh, we didn't tackle very well defensively Saturday as a whole. And uh, Coach Kevin Weston's beginning to get a little frustrated with that very thing. But staff's doing a great job. We're keeping our kids together. We just got to keep coaching, and they got to understand the importance of putting one away when we got, them, got a team down. Pioneers still have a big lead at the end of three. We go to the fourth. Pioneers lead 44 to 21. We're back with much more of the Frankie DeVos Show right after this. Whenever there's a project to make our community a better place to live, you'll always find our local merchants right there doing all they can to help. From sponsoring the kids' ball teams to serving barbecue at a community picnic, they're always there. Be community-minded. Shop and invest locally. Greenville Federal Bank, member FDIC. Banking made easy. Community-minded, just like you. Green Coach Charters and Tours has been proudly serving the traveling public for 65 years and is the official carrier of Tusculum College. If you have never traveled by Green Coach, may we invite you to join them for an exciting travel adventure. Visit online at greencoach.com. Anything you'll ever need to rent or buy is at Grand Rental Station. Business, commercial, or residential, from forklifts to backhoes to tents, party goods, wedding supplies, and much more. On the Andrew Johnson Highway in Greenville, Grand Rental Station, 639-6160. Consumer Credit Union. Loans? We can do that. Three locations in Greenville and Mossheim. At Consumer Credit Union, everybody can join. Visit online at consumercreditunion.com. 